with wild swimming and especially this time of year, safety is paramount. And I'm not just being a safety nerd, um, I am. Instead of just get to, inspiring you to get in the water, I want, to do, I want you to do it safely because there might be young uns watching and I'd hate to think that I inspired people to go in and then they didn't come back out. So I just want to run through a few little safety things and, and, and all that boring jazz until I, I'm going to submerge myself. Not nogging, because we don't do noggings now. We wear hats these days. Um, get myself in there. Wim off it if I can for a little minute or two. And then, and then build a fire and cook up some grub and get warm. So we do it that way around, which makes sense. Um, yeah, so just a few little things. Hold on, I'll take my bag off, shall I? Let's get, should we get comfy? Should we sit down? If uh, cold water while swimming is something you want to be pursuing, and I know it's, <clears throat> it's quite popular these days with the Wim Hof method and stuff, I just thought I'd run through a few of my uh, safety tips and whatnot. It's, but a lot of it's just common sense, um, you know, and I don't want to patronise anybody or teach you to suck eggs or, you know, come across preach or anything, but I just Occasionally I think it's important just to do a video like this just to Just so that you don't get too Confident because people can get overconfident watching other people you can watch me jumping in cold water and uh, Free diving and doing all this and you might go out and try it and that'll be it Because you have to respect it You have to respect the cold mate as well I know I go while swimming on my own a lot, but try and go with other people if you can, especially if you're a beginner. This is just, I'm only speaking to you now if you are a beginner or if you've never tried it before. Go with some friends so that, you, you know, they can raise the alarm if anything happens or, or help you out. And go somewhere, there's no reeds and there's no, it's easy in and out, it's easy access in and out of the water. Um, and don't jump in. That is critical do not jump I mean <laughs> I'm a professional idiot I grew up jumping into uh, jumping off the ice house in Whitby and off the beacons at the end of the at the end of the harbour and I've done a lot of cliff jumping and stuff regarde God. Oh. Wow. <laughs> but even that one there, I I hit that I hit the water on on an angle like that, and my ass hit, and just for the rest of the holiday I just had like a black and blue purple yellow it was a it was quite uh it's like a tie-dyed ass I had from all bruising it's no it's no joke also if you're jumping in um the cold can it can take your breath away and so you'll hit the water the cold will take your breath away and you'll take in that first breath and it'll be water and then that's it it's game over because as soon as you hit the cold you you like you, you the shock you, you can't hold your breath and it's you get an increased heart rate as well and you want to acclimatize to the cold it's something that you do get used to so at first find a good entry point you don't want to be going over slippy rocks or or anything like that where it's really easy to get in and out and don't go out of your depth because you at least you can walk back out you know, if, if it's too cold for you. Um, yeah, easy access, easy in and out. Um, when you do get out, if you're submerging in the cold, if you get out, then you want to warm up slowly. Hat on, hot drink, fire, whatever it is. Don't get a hot shower, because that can cool your core temperature more and be dangerous for you. So there's something that people refer to as the 1101 principle. You've got a minute to prepare, so hold your breath, hold your... Hold your nose, calm yourself, control your breathing, prepare yourself for meaningful movement and to rescue yourself. Got about 10 minutes of meaningful movement to 
instigate your your rescue. Otherwise, you you're going to start shutting down in the cold. Dep this is all dependent on the temperatures. It varies. And the the final one is you may have you you may have one hour before becoming hypothermic and losing consciousness. So a victim who knows they're going into the water should enter the water as slowly as possible. Attempt to always be insulated. Do not get your head wet and keep as much of your body out of the water as, pos out of the water as possible. Yeah, I'm not good at, not particularly good at reading out loud. Um, it's like when I read to my daughter and that, I can't read quick enough to, um, for it to go in to preempt stuff. So I end up like, the, it, what, and then <laughs> I'm, I'm like, uh, I'm reading Harry Potter and I'm like, um, Right, Harry, you must go find the blue crystal, whispered Hermione. Just ruins it. She's looking at me like, you're a div or whatever, you know. So... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Harry. Come on, Harry. We've got to. We, we must go and find the Nimbus 2000. Bellowed Hagrid. You know what I mean? That sort of shit. Um, yeah, so from me, just know your own body as well and please just take it slowly. Don't just gun ho it. Just go up to your waist, get a feeling for it, splash some water on yourself, and then get out live to fight another day and slowly but surely build yourself up to it even take cold showers at home to get your body used to it um, because it is something that you can train yourself to get used to and um, but more importantly just stay safe <laughs> stay safe while you're in the cold water right that being said I am now going to don my trunks I don't have them on under here because I was in a bit of a rush just grabbing everything and getting out so I'm going to don my trunks, and uh, and I'm going to go and dunk the junk. I'm going to go and dunk the trunks, and then I'm going to go and get a fire going, and just cook up a little bit of steak. And I've got some like a little bit of a cheese saucy thing that I'm going to dip the steak in. Warm me cockles before, well before nightfall. <laughs> And as always, I, you, b before I go in, I, there's a feeling of like, it's a mixture of excitement and of like, oh, I really don't want to do it. Because all you think about, or you try and I try not to, but you think about the actual action of going in there and being cold and like, well, that, that doesn't s seem appealing. But after you do it so much, you start to think about the feeling that you get after, which is just a feeling of elation. Your body feels like, tuned up it's really, like you feel invigorated and so you look forward to it so cold water swimming it can uh, it can help combat depression it can boost your immune system and it can help with circulation and apparently it's good for libido <laughs> but who knows is it all just bs all i know is that it just feels good when i get out and it, and it helps me to really just connect with nature like nothing else just being in a body of water, whether it's a sea or a lake or a, even just you know when you like when you're a kid and you walk through a puddle, just that sort of connection with the water, it's nice. Anyway, let's get let's get to let's get the baps out and get in there, and have your clothes ready to go when you get out. Top tips. You have to excuse me, I've, um, I'm packing a bit of Christmas, I'm packing a bit of Christmas pudding around midriff and boob like, but we're working on it. <laughs> right, let's get you down here. I mean, I can't lie and say it's, not, it's, it hurts a bit mate, you know what I mean? I'll probably be able to see, oh, I'm working on now. It's pretty beautiful though, look at it. Oh my word. You just gotta get in man. You just gotta just gotta do it. <laughs> oh.
Yeah, you can really feel that, man. Oh. 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 <laughs> I hope that swan's coming. I'm not. Swan Vindal. Oh. Right, it's freezing, man. It starts to burn. Ooh, it's pretty cold, but uh, we try not to make a meal of it in 2020. We're just accepting it as what it is. It's cold, it hurts your feet and your extremities. And it makes your skin burn and that, but uh, it's nice, mate. Right, let's go and uh, let's go and get a fire going. And what, we're doing it right way this time. We're getting a fire going after we've been in. Let's go and get a fire going anyway. Cook up some warm food and, and warm our toes by the flames. <sighs> it's such a lovely, cosy feeling, man. And the only thing that hurts, I mean, tips of my fingers and tips of my toes, but that isn't because, that's, I've, as, as I've said before, I've um, I got blasted with chemotherapy when I were a Utah when I was in my early twenties. So it killed all my nerve endings off in my fingers and my toes. So they, they, that's just, I accept that. That's just pain that can't that can't be helped. And I, so I just live with that. But the what the warmth coming back to rest at body is just. Oh, it's lovely. Yeah. Oh, mate. That feels good. And this is what you remember about while swimming in the winter for me is this bit. They're getting all the, all the feeling coming back and the warmth. And the, oh, absolutely. Whoa, brand new, mate. And it's another one in wind column for, for duds. <laughs> it's another W for, oh, I picked up quite a lot there. Well done duds. Where should we put them? I think we'll smash them on outside at pack, I think. When we get away from the water's edge and get up into the woods, find somewhere, find somewhere and we'll get a fire going. Let's go. Look at this. I was just, I was just walking along here. And I've seen these two huge, like really white birds. I don't have a, I don't know what they are. <clears throat> oh my God. Look at them. Look at that. What is that? What is that? Look at it, what's it doing, man? It looks like it's it's so white. It's like a, it might even be a, it, oh my God. It might be a, like a ghost or something, like a ghost of a chicken. <sighs> I've just seen the ghost of a chicken or like some sort of angelic duck, like an overgrown, an overgrown angel duck, I don't know what it is. But it's it's quite beautiful, isn't it? Look at it there look, synchronised swimming on it. Oh yes mate. That's mint that. That's the beauty of nature, you never know what you're gonna see. I've got Ah, what the f it's long neck and that look at the size of its neck. <laughs> put, that, put it in comments if you know what that is, because that's just, that's blown my mind that. Everything's flooded, look. Oh, sinking. Look at this. This isn't even a, wow. That's just flood water, that. Oh, 
Oh, everywhere is absolutely saturated. I'm gonna go up there, try and get onto a bit of higher ground where it's not so, so, so soggy. I'm gonna lose light pretty soon, so I think we'll just go here. I've got a nice view over this, well, it's a clearing now because all the bracken's died back. And on the top of the hill, so it's a little bit dry everywhere in the little, in the, in the valleys and stuff is just saturated, so. This'll do. I'm only, I only want a tiny little fire. I've only got a tiny bit of food to cook up and, and just warm, warm my fingers and toes. So I start, I've started, I've got some thicker, thicker bits on the outside and then just gradually get thinner and then if you're nice got a 90 degree on the back of it, you can just push the last bit with your 90 degree and create some really fine dusty bits, plenty of them. Yeah, there you go. And that's a, that's a one and done fire all in one stick there there you go one and done and the idea is that the the little fine bits of dust will catch pretty easy and it'll gradually make its way to the thick ones on the outside and hopefully that'll that should maintain but yeah we're only keeping it small today I just want to be in and out there you go that's your fire look one stick fire
my goodness, I am looking forward to this. Shout out Dustin for Spark. Look at this, mate. Oh, that's just a ramekin of three different cheeses, herbs, white wine. Oh, garlic. Mmm. Um, organic grass fed sirloin. Mmm. And then some, just some leaves and some chive to give it a little bit of an oniony, oniony vibe. Mmm. Wow. Oh my word. My word, especially after being in, after being in the soup. <laughs> Look at that, just dripping in the cheese, mate. <laughs> One of the best, one of the best meals that I've had outdoors or in or in or anywhere. I had me bonds. Look at that. Might not be to your liking. It's cooked perfect for me. It's my first meal of the day and it's almost three o'clock. I've warmed me I've warmed me extremities by the fire. And just prepping stuff. It's that old adage of um he who preps the fire warms himself twice. Who dunks the junk needs to warm himself up? Last bit mate, if you were here, hand on heart, I'd let you have it. <sighs> I appreciate that. <laughs> Tremendous. Now to wash it down with a cup of tea. brought my little uh, tea strainer because I didn't want to have any coffee because it's getting late in day. <laughs> but late in day and I don't want to not be able to sleep so I brought some fresh tea. Oh yes. Lovely. Yeah I picked this up for next to nothing. It's um it's like a little metal egg with little holes in it. And I just leave it in my kit now. I'm gonna just have it as my little tea maker because I like the ritual of of brewing up uh, fresh tea leaves and different blends over the fire. A lot healthier than coffee. And also, I thought that when I come in to the woods, you know, you can you can get pine needles and put them in there. Chaga, 
um, goose uh, gorse. I don't know what's it called. I call it goose grass. Little balls on goose grass. You can make coffee out of that. But you know, put whatever. There's all sorts of things that you can make tea from in the wild, and you can pop it in there. Even mix it with a bit of tea or whatever flavours, chamomile, anything you want, rose hips, orange peel, and just knock up your own concoctions and then and brew it up. It's a nice little thing to do around the fire. Right, thanks for joining me on this uh, wild swimming, cooking sort of a video, but I've enjoyed myself. Uh, and that's it, I know a few people didn't like it when I did a, a no talking video recently, as everyone does a no talking video, but from my point of view, it's nice to, if you capture some capture nice footage and you like editing as I do, it's, I think every now and again it's nice to tell a little story without words. I know you all, a lot of you don't like it because you perceive it as jumping on the bandwagon of people who've done it before or you just like to hear my northern accent but it ain't going to deter me because it deter me. I'll probably do more in the future because I've got one planned. I want to do one with Joey D whittling a spoon from start to finish and just do it real cinematic you know. Get his hair just in the moonlight, all that sort of stuff. And uh, if it's not your thing, don't watch it, mate. Free content in it. You just go and watch something else. Just go and watch a cat farting or something like that. I don't know. Whatever, whatever you're into, whatever's on YouTube, go watch it. Play safe around open water, especially at winter. We've talked about that, so I'm not going to repeat myself. Look after yourselves. Um, I know it's it is winter, and it's January, February, which can be tough times. But if you just, these are the times where that are, it, it's good to get your, get your shit together for spring and summer. While everyone else might be just putting on, still putting on like winter fodder and I don't know. Everyone else might not be. So this is a good time for you to, you know, January and February can be trying times. Especially, you know, I work outside so it can be real trying especially February no man's land so it's good to use it as a time I find to to work on self-improvement work on little bits and about yourself that you want to improve like your fitness or your mental health or learn a new skill sharpen up skills you've already got read a book all these little things that you can do and are best to do in winter when you're hibernating and then in spring you can come out <laughs> fighting fit Fighting fit because you've read, you've read Harry Potter. You've read Harry Potter. You've done 18 sit-ups. You've had a, you've had a bit of broccoli, and you've had a, a, a diet coke with your McDonald's, and you, you're ready to rock. I'm not very good at being, at giving sensible advice a lot of the time because I'm, I've never, I never really took it when I was younger myself. But yeah, circle of life in it. I feel like now I've learned, I've learned a lot, and I just want to pass it on to if anyone are you, if anyone's watching and they're into wild swimming and, and, and this sort of stuff, then I feel it's my duty just to give you both sides of the coin and I want you to I want everyone to be safe in out in nature so we can enjoy it without perishing. So look after yourself, take care. <sighs> Namaste. See you later, mate.
yes, yes, are you tough enough? <laughs> no. <laughs> Get blood flowing. Right, come on, let's stop messing about. I'll see you later, I love you, bye. I'm like Jordan, trying to rise onto the dunk. Me, I'm trying to be an icon from the jump. They were warden, I let bygones be bygones. Cause they bars all have gone by by the month. Me, I'm trying to be an icon from the jump. They were warden, I let bygones be bygones. Cause they bars all have gone by by the month.